here we go. My name is Luke. I have a spinal cord injury. It's C6, C7 incomplete. We have some adaptive steering wheel devices here. I'm not going to talk about I'm not going to mention brand names or anything. If you Google, you should be able to figure it out pretty easily. Blah, blah, blah. Easily though. This is pretty much like the top dog manufacturer in the US. This is uh, eBay. And I think this one you can find on eBay and maybe even Amazon. I bought this one second hand. This is the U-shaped palm grip. This is what I'm going to end up trying on my vehicle. Should be able to take like a pair of channel locks and a rag or something and squish those down. It comes with this quick lock device here. It has a bearing in it, quick release. You can interchange these. Um, it's got those rubber inserts on the inside for different thickness steering wheels. Different thickness steering wheels. And it has some spacers that comes with it as well for thicker steering wheels. You put it in between the mating surface there. This one, I originally bought this one first. And this one, second or first, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I had this one before this, and I thought I would just buy this. Maybe it would insert into here. It doesn't. If you look at the inserted the surface, little, if you look at the shafts, the different sizes lengthwise and also the thickness of where the recess is, where it locks into. Um, if you use this in here, which is the eBay suicide knob, it just slides in and out of the hole. It does not catch. That's just a regular suicide knob and its mount. Uh, it's a bit cheap compared to this one. It just has these metal strips. You bend these tabs in and they hook on to this side here. And you have a through bolt and two nuts that attach here. Um, I like this one because it has a lot more surface area that bites onto your steering wheel. This is a tri-pin. It's got like a quick release mechanism, kind of like a ratchet. There's a pin on the inside here that you push in. There's a small like needle bearing down in here. So you would mount it to your steering wheel. This would be on like the inside of the round part of your steering wheel. And it would slide in there. Um, I'm a C6, C7 incomplete. My hands, I don't have a lot of grip. My tenodesis is there. Oh, tenodesis is like the gripping action of your hand when you can bend your wrist back. But there's, it's not strong. My fingers are just kind of floppy. Originally wanted to use these. And I had a uh, friend of mine who's a higher level, a little bit of a higher level quad than me, tell me that I really don't need it. Um, because I have a little more function, I have triceps. He does not. Um, said friend actually uses like a V-grip where he's got two prongs and he puts his hand in it like that. Uh, this thing's a bit more bulky, kind of makes me feel more, feel more disabled, you know. I'm going to try to use the U-shaped palm grip so I can slide my hand in.
This one, like I said, it's a cheaper one off eBay. Um, there's a little adjustment here on the part that you put your hand around, but I think they should all be adjustable it's because so it can so it can fit everybody. Um, everything's loose right now. And uh, yeah, we'll get this going and see how it works out.